From researching the company to handling certain key interview questions, make sure you make a great impression and ace your next job interview by following these tips. These are the best tips you will need to finish the interview successfully and get your job. Want to ace your next interview and land that open job you've been seeking? Here are the best tips to help you prepare. Let's go to the video and have a look at those. One, research the industry and company. An interviewer may ask how you perceive his company's position in its industry, who the firm's competitors are, what its competitive advantages are, and how it should best go forward. For this reason, avoid trying to thoroughly research a dozen different industries. Focus your job search on just a few industries instead. 2. Prepare for common interview questions. Every how to interview book has a list of a hundred or more common interview questions. You might wonder just how long those interviews are, if there are that many common questions. So how do you prepare? Pick any list and think about which questions you're most likely to encounter, given your age and status, about to graduate, looking for a summer internship. Then prepare your answers, so you won't have to fumble for them during the actual interview. 3. Line up your questions for the interviewer. Come to the interview with some intelligent questions, for the interviewer that demonstrate your knowledge of the company, as well as your serious intent. Interviewers always ask if you have any questions, and no matter what, you should have one or two readies. If you say, no, not really, he or she may conclude that, you're not all that interested in the job or the company. A good all-purpose question is, if you could design the ideal candidate for this position from the ground up, what would he or she be like? If you're having a series of interviews with the same company, you can use some of your prepared questions with each person you meet. For example, what do you think is the best thing about working here? And what kind of person would you most like to see fill this position? Then, try to think of one or two others during each interview itself. 4. Practice, practice, practice. It's one thing to come prepared with a mental answer to a question like, why should we hire you? It's another challenge entirely to say it out loud, in a confident and convincing way. The first time you try it, you'll sound garbled and confused, no matter how clear your thoughts are in your own mind. Do it another 10 times, and you'll sound a lot smoother and more articulate. But you shouldn't do your practicing, when you're on stage with a recruiter, Rehearse before you go to the interview. The best way to rehearse? Get two friends and practice interviewing each other in a round robin. One person acts as the observer in the interviewee, gets feedback from both the observer and the interviewer. Go for four or five rounds, switching roles as you go. Another idea, but definitely second best, is to tape record your answer, and then play it back to see where you need to improve. Whatever you do, Make sure your practice consists of speaking aloud. Rehearsing your answer in your mind won't cut it. 5. Score a success in the first 5 minutes. Some studies indicate that interviewers make up their minds about candidates in the first 5 minutes of the interview, and then spend the rest of the interview looking for things to confirm that decision. So, what can you do in those 5 minutes to get through the gate? Come in with energy and enthusiasm, and express your appreciation for the interviewer's time. Also, start off with a positive comment about the company, something like, I've really been looking forward to this meeting. I think is doing great work in, and I'm really excited by the prospect of being able to contribute. 6. Get on the same side as the interviewer. Many interviewers view job interviews as adversarial, Candidates are going to try to pry an offer out of the interviewer, and the interviewer's job is to hold on to it. Your job is to transform this tug of war into a relationship, in which you're both on the same side. You could say something as simple as, I'm happy to have the chance to learn more about your company, 
and to let you learn more about me, so we can see if this is going to be a good match or not. I always think that the worst thing that can happen, is to be hired into a job that's wrong for you, then nobody's happy. 7. Be assertive and take responsibility for the interview. Perhaps out of the effort to be polite, some usually assertive candidates become overly passive during job interviews. But politeness doesn't equal passivity. An interview is like any other conversation, it's a dance in which you and a partner move together, both responding to the other. Don't make the mistake of just sitting there, waiting for the interviewer to ask you about that Nobel Prize you won. It's your responsibility to make sure, he walks away knowing your key selling points. 8. Be ready to handle illegal and inappropriate questions. Interview questions about your race, age, gender, religion, marital status, and sexual orientation are inappropriate and, in many areas, illegal. Nevertheless, you may get one or more of them. If you do, you have a couple of options. You can simply answer with a question, I'm not sure how that's relevant to my application, or you can try to answer the question behind the question. I don't know whether I'll decide to have children in the near future, but if you're wondering, if I'll be leaving my job for an extended period of time, I can say that I'm very committed to my career, and frankly can't imagine giving it up. 9. Make your selling points clear. If a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it, did it make a sound? More important, if you communicate your selling points during a job interview, and the interviewer doesn't get it, did you score? On this question, the answer is clear, no. So don't bury your selling points in long-winded stories. Instead, tell the interviewer what your selling point is first, then give the example. 10. Speak the right body language. Dress appropriately, make eye contact, give a firm handshake, have good posture, speak clearly, and don't wear perfume or cologne. Sometimes interview locations are small rooms, that may lack good air circulation. You want the interviewer paying attention to your job qualifications, not passing out because you've come in wearing Chanel No. 5. And the candidate before you were doused with brute, and the two have mixed to form a poisonous gas, that results in you not getting an offer. 11. Don't give up. If you've had a bad interview for a job, that you truly think would be a great fit for you, don't give up. Write a note, send an email, or call the interviewer to let him or her know, that you think you did a poor job of communicating why you think this job would be a good match. Reiterate what you have to offer the company, and say that you'd like an opportunity to contribute. Whether this strategy will get you a job offer, depends on the company and on you. But one thing's for sure, if you don't try, your chances are exactly zero. We've seen this approach work on numerous occasions, and we encourage you to give it that last shot. In this video, we discuss tips to face an interview well. If you got this video helpful, please give a thumbs up to the video. Don't forget to share this with your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more important videos like this. Thanks for watching.